August 17, 2014, Union Pacific Vocal IQNLPI-17 was making its way northbound after leaving Little Rock, Arkansas on August 16, 2014 at 10.57 p.m. The train consisted of two SD70Ms on the head with 5070 in the lead and 4350 trailing. In the opposite direction was the was Union Pacific Manifest train, IMASNL-16, has just left Dexter, Mississippi, and made it at 6.31 p.m. and made its way southbound. The train consisted of two locomotives on the head end, with Dash 9 9707 in the lead and CSX SD70 Mac 4716 trialing. Not much long later, UP 9707 South was scheduled to stop at a red signal on the main by CP Y229, so 45, so 4590 North can pass UP 9707 South by switching on to the siding. So UP 9707 South can continue. When the train was approaching the yellow signal at 2.27 a.m., telling the UP 9707 to prepare to stop at the next signal. But things took a turn. The crew ignored the signal, and the train was picking up speed, heading straight for 5070. Until then, at 2.20 at a.m., two trains came into view, both of them getting closer and closer. And then, The trains collide head on at Foxy, Arkansas at 2.28 a.m. All four locomotives for both trains and 55 cars from both trains combined derailed. At least 500 residents were being forced to evacuate after the tanker car fuel caught fire. The crew of, 90, the crew of UP 9707 was killed while the other while the other crew members of 5070 were injured. The NTSB concluded that the cause was the crew of UP 9707 South failed to slow down and stop for the Union Pacific 5070 North. And the reason why the, the crew failed to slow down and stop was because the crew of 9707 were asleep. As everyone should know, you should never, you should never fall asleep on the job. Even if you're a railroad, railroad employee on Union Pacific or BNSF or CSX and any other railroad companies. Because one small mistake could lead to many consequences. Just like the one that the crew was seeking. In the end, UP 9707, 5070, and CSX 4716 would retain the total loss at scrap. CSX 4716 became the first CSX SD70 Mac to be scrapped after the wreck. The, the only locomotive that survived the wreck was UP SD70M 4350, which was repaired and returned to service, still operates to this day.